The heat that I am experiencing right now is way too much. Like I'm absolutely boiling. I feel like it's like 50 degrees. Someone like, it is January, not June. <laughs> Hi guys and welcome back to my channel today. I am back with another video and it's going to be a makeup collection. I've seen so many of these on YouTube and I, I, I'm I, interested to do a makeup collection for the start of this year and then to go back next year and do another makeup collection and see how it's improved or deproved. I hope it doesn't deprove. Is that a word? I feel like my brains are about to explode and I am a melting snowman. So, without further ado, let's get on with the video. The reality of cami work. Ca cami work? Camera work. When you accidentally... Oh, no, wrong way. There we go. So, I'm actually stood up for this. No, I'm not. But all my makeup is kept in this little drawer here. It's only one drawer, I know. I'm really, really extremely boring. <sighs> Oh. So if I bring them down here then you should be able to see everything that's in my drawer. So I have my Garnier cleansing water here. Um, obviously I use this to take off my makeup. This was also $3.99 last time I was in Boots and it was on offer. Then I also have very messy cotton wool pads. Um, but I also use these to clean my new ear piercing so that's why there's hardly any left and I need to buy some more because I think I'm going shopping after this video. And then I have this collection Fix Me Up setting spray. I also have a collection Lasting Perfection powder. This is my favourite powder to use. Um, I recently was looking for a new powder and this was the one that stood out to me seeing as I like the Lasting, Com Lasting Perfection concealer. So I have a few other little powders in here. Um, the MUA ones are actually quite good for the price. Also have a collection of foundation so that's not foundation so this is the NYX stay matte but not flat I think it's called foundation in the shade ivory I was running out so that's why I ended up getting this little gem which is the L'Oreal true match I also have this 17 skin wow liquid highlighter now I love liquid highlighters because Although at first I didn't see the point of them, this is great to put under your foundation to make your skin a lot more glowy. I also have my two Collection Lasting Perfection concealers. These are in shade 1, obviously, because I am the paler shade. That goes without saying. I do really, really like these. I'm on the lookout for a new, fa uh, for a new concealer, though, so... If any of you have any good recommendations for a concealer, this is either high-end or drugstore, then please let me know because I am in dire need. I also have this Nivea Men Post Shaving Balm. A lot of people use this for primer, so I will let you know how I feel about this one. Here I just have all my eyeshadow palettes. Now I have quite a few palettes, so I'm not going to go through them all, so I'm just going to go through some of my favourites. You've seen this on literally probably about three of my videos. This is the Naked Ultimate Basics palette. I don't normally like the Naked palettes because I think they're not very pigmented and I think they're quite expensive for what you get and there are definitely better palettes. But this is a little gem and such a nice addition to my beauty collection. And here I have the Balm Voyage palette. I don't really use this as much as I used to. Like there's a cute little mirror going on down here. I mean up here, not down. Um, and whoop. I mean the colours are pretty as you can see but I just don't really use them. I prefer more warm colours than shimmery. Um, also I'm pretty sure this is the Mary Luminizer. If not it's extremely like it. So I use this, but as you can see, I've hit pan on it. Like, that is so sad. I can't, I cannot leave that. Also, this bronzer is really good. I think you can buy this bronzer separately. And same with the blushes. And I like the packaging as well. I think that's what drew me to it, to be honest. Next, we have one of my other little babies. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. I actually have this on my eyes today. And these colours, you've all probably seen these a million times before. How beautiful are these, though? One is my favourite, and... I, I love these two down here, it's starting to really warm to these ones. Then I just have the Maybelline Blush Nudes, this Sigma Smoke Screen Palette, which I really hate. So, you know, if anyone wants it, I'll probably sell it on Depop, but let me know. This is a little palette that I also got from eBay, and look at the shades, like, look how beautiful those shades are. This was just until I got my Morphe palette. I don't really use this as much, but it was only like $3.99 from eBay, so. Oh, this is a contour palette. Um, this is a cream contour palette. I've hit pan on that one and nearly pan on the highlight one. I mean, this was good back in the day, but I don't really use it as much anymore. I have the Makeup Revolution Fortune Favors the Brave palette. 
Um, I'm not a huge fan of this to be honest and this is what the palette looks like. I mean there's some nice colours, I just don't really grab for this palette at all. There's a few Makeup Revolution ones, um, 17 Easy on the Eye, oh goodbye, I Heart Makeup one. Then I also have this Bare Minerals palette. I actually got this from TK Maxx, so I don't feel too bad if I don't reach for it a lot. So in this little compartment of my drawer, I have my highlighter, my bronzer. I don't know what this is doing in here. Throw that one in there. And this, I didn't know where to put it, so that's why this one is in here. Um, this is the Too Faced Bulletproof. Um, I don't really use this, but this is great to just put in your inner corner of your eye. I mean. Like, I don't know, can you see? I'll see that is. Then I have this Kiko bronzer. I've just stuck my ring into the bronzer. Okay, well done by that. Yeah, I have some of my highlights. I have this Makeup Revolution Visit Vivid Baked Highlighter. And also this MUA Undress Your Skin. I used to use this all the time, but I don't really use it as much anymore. This still is actually a really good highlighter. Like, this and the Makeup Revolution one for the prices are ridiculously good. Also, I have this Too Faced Shadow Insurance, like I cannot rave about this enough. Here I have my Precision Contouring Stick from Collection. 17 Instant Glow. Now I love 17 products, but this is just way too orange for me, so I probably may give it away. I have these two blushes. Now I'm not sort of a blusher sort of person, um, but this is a Makeup Revolution one that I love, and this is my fav favourite one, which is the Maybelline Colour Show. Put them all back in. And now for the last box, this is kind of like eyes and eyebrows. So this is a lasting finish concealer that I use for my eyebrows to conceal my eyebrows. I feel like if I don't conceal my eyebrows at the moment, then they just completely go to pot. Um, no pun intended. This is what I'm wearing today actually, and this is the Kiko Mascara. This is so incredibly good. I have some other mascaras, so I've got this Maybelline Last Sensational and this 17 one that they sent me very kindly. Some eyeliners, but I cannot do winged eyeliner to save my life, so let's just skip that one. I have the Collection Brow Kit, I don't use this anymore, and we'll get to why in a minute. And then I have this NYX Micro Brow Pencil. And then these are the eyebrow products I use, so I use this one by Freedom. And along with that, I use this Freedom Brow Pomade. Now, I've heard so many people talk about this, and every time I hear them talk about it and rave about it, I'm like, yes, I use that one. And this is my NYX Eyeliner Gel. And then for the last section, I'll run through this really quickly. This is my Makeup Revolution Contour Kit. This is meant to be a dupe for the Anastasia one, and this one is really good. Um, I can't really use a lot of these darker colours though because obviously I'm the palest person known to man but this one does the job when it comes to contour I feel like and these are great for highlighters I don't really use them too as much though and then I have this Technique Colour Fix that they also sent me so I haven't used this yet will be a video coming on this and then last but certainly not least I have my Makeup Revolution Ultra Pl Oh, ultra what? Ultra Pro Glow. So that is my little eyeshadow drawer and just face drawer and just drawer, makeup drawer in general done. Okay, so thank goodness I'm back to my normal filming like setup kind of thing. I feel a lot more homely over here compared to over there. So now I'm going to show you my makeup brushes and how I store them, which obviously is these two. <laughs> I don't know, they're all kind of the same really in here. They're all having their own little same little party going on. I use this brush for my waterline and this goes with my NYX gel which is incredible. Like these two together, just thank god. And now I just have these ones, these were from eBay. Yeah, yeah I normally use these for like um, highlighter. I have some more eye brushes here. So I have a selection of eye brushes here. So for eye brushes I tend to use this, you know, I just kind of model my way through it. I tend to use like these sort of flatter brushes for like dabbing in colour, so like um, lighter colours in the inner corner of my eyes and darker colours on the outer corner of my eyes. And then here are some fluffy ones which are great for blending and working into your crease and you know, you know the jazz. And then these two brushes here are great for my eyebrows. I use this angled one. It's quite thick though, so I'm looking to get a thinner one. I think I'm going to get a MAC one. I can't remember which one it is. But I use this brush currently for my eyebrows, and then I use this one to conceal my eyebrows. Oh, you could just 
really get in there with the eyebrows to kind of define them a little bit more. And then moving on to my face brush storage little bit. Um, this big massive fluffy brush which is probably one of the biggest brushes I've ever seen in my life. Then I have like my beauty blender sort of thing. This is absolutely disgusting. I had a new one that I got for Christmas and I lost it and I think it ended up in the bin. I have these brushes, these were also from the eBay set and these are so incredibly good. I can't get over the fact that these were 4 99 and I've cleaned them twice. And look, all the bristles are pretty much still here and haven't shredded. And then I use this brush for blending in my contour. This is really good because I don't know if you can see, it's quite like slanted. It's good for blending in my contour on my cheeky bones. Cheeky bones. <laughs> and then I have this Primark PS Pro one. I use this one for like the top of my forehead. I mainly use this one for contour. It has such a good like triangle sort of shape going on. Okay and now we're gonna move on to the last little bit of my makeup collection and this is my lip products. Leave a little sparkle wherever you go and I thought that was a cute little phrase that seems to be my little life motto. I've got a couple of what? I've got a couple MAC ones here. I don't know where my other MAC one is. I think it's in one of my bags. Then I have this one from Technique that they sent me. Once again, this will be in the testing video. I have a couple of the NYX lip lingeries. This is a really dark purple and I love this one, but I haven't worn it in ages. And this is a really nice nude and I love this. This is the one I reach for when I go on a night out mainly. I have some of the NYX soft matte lip creams. Um, this is in the shade, um, I think this is... Abu Dhabi and this is Ibiza. A couple of the Makeup Revolution £3 ones which actually are alright, they surprise me. And then back here I have some of my bigger eyeshadow palettes because I don't like to kind of keep them in my drawer. I feel like they don't really fit anymore. This is the Morphe 350 matte palette and this is the Morphe 350 shimmer. And I have this Makeup Pro Pro eyeshadow collection. This, yes, it says it has a B&M sticker where it says £4.99 um, but this was actually made by the makers of Makeup Revolution. So, you know, Tan Beauty, like, kind of did this. <laughs> if I wanted more of a bold look, then I'll go for this side, and then this side is more brown. I haven't used it in a while, though. Close that up. So that is all of my makeup. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big massive thumbs up and also feel free to hit that subscribe button for more videos. And also it would be really lovely of you to tap the little bell down there so you can get notifications every time I post a new video. Thank you so incredibly much for watching as always and I'll see you next time. Bye!